Hello and welcome back everyone. Um, Ninja Prime here. I'm just continuing my course. Uh, I think this is going to be part three. The sun's all over the place at the moment. Sorry about this guys. Let me just close something. Sort of better, I think. Okay, let's go where we carried off from last time. I forget where I was. Um, so we go to Omega Prime Tour. Just check this and continue with this. So I hope everyone's doing well. Keeping well, keeping safe, most importantly. Uh, understand that um, where I live in the United Kingdom, they've. Uh, what's happened is the north of England, sort of Manchester, Leeds, that area, they've. Act, Midlands, they've actually uh, gone back into second lockdown for. Um, because um, after opening all the shops and everything again, they just. Uh, got out of hand for some reason. Oops, what's happened there? Something's my logo. Logo sort of died. One second guys, let me just bring this back into view. Okay, that's Likely better. Right, let's get on with this. Where was I? One, two, three. We decided we were going to put some uh, water here. In fact, what I'm going to do quickly, I need to clear some of this land out. generated trees and uh, stuff there. That's interesting because there are that now falls. It's actually made an interesting gully. Um, so you can clear this a bit. Idea here, so I could have the waterfall coming here, a bit of a lake sort of, not a lake, a pond sort of thing there, and some water coming down here, finishing off into a bowl down here. Yeah, let's, let's go for that. Should be relatively flat. Could use actually a um, possibly some kind of square shaped one, shaped brush for this. But I think I'll stick with this one. Looks good enough for me. Slow with this as well. Okay, and I'll show you what I have in mind. Um, let me 
do this. Let's create create water, and we need to create the body of water. So we have this here. Oops, that's not what I wanted. The last option. Can we have this on? did there was press the Q guys to get to the advanced option for this bit. Do we need to lower or increase this? Sorry guys, <laughs> one second because this is blinding me. Sorry, just talk amongst yourselves for a second. That's better. God, I was wondering why my eye, I thought I was going blind or something for a minute. Right. So the water lo the water's there. I need to lower it a little bit. Jiggery pokery with this one, guys. Let me just um, check this out. Do go create create water water feature. Do a high waterfall. Which we have here. Spin her round. Raise her a bit. Too bothered about if that's sticking out of the landscape too much because just sort of try and marry it up with the actual thing. Right, I have pressed. Should just be right there. Should be okay. I forget whether you can actually do this with this. Can do it. 
do it. So what we're going to have to do is a bit of trickery here. Scroll this, come down a little bit with this. too much if it comes out of the land too much like that because we can hide a lot quite a lot of this so you can do stuff like this and you can hide it with some clever planting Okay, so I'm slowly building it, building up the waterfall from here. So we're good to go. And then what we have to do next is the high splashes. This you really need to raise this, and you see where this is. That that needs to just sit up above the surface of the water. fact I think I'll do this after I place the rocks and everything but that's the sort of start of a waterfall cascading down just to give the player a bit of a chance so if they wanted to come up here they can do so so if we do this <laughs> okay we can close the path you don't even have to close the I don't think you even have to close the path on some of these you can just fill the spine and it will fill it for you um, we'll put that to the test in a minute or another one escape back back uh, so there you go that's that one I need to uh, 
uh, level that out a bit. I don't want it too much, so if the player successfully gets it on there, I don't want them to. Uh, basically, don't want to penalise them for doing that. I want them to uh, stay on there. So let's get this back to that. here it's just to blend that a little bit may have done too much but that should be okay then what we can do if the player does want to get up there we can put an object mark so if we go here we can go to signs markings and stick one of these babies up here. So that should be from down here. We need to play test this in a minute. Sorry about that, guys. Welcome back. Um, right, I'm just putting some grass down here. Uh, what I need to do is sort of mix it up a little bit as well. Oop, what happened there? Um, I tend to put a variety of grasses down as well, just to give it a bit more um, variety and spice, so to speak. So that's kind of okay but we will be putting some rocks here as well so don't worry too much about that okay so let's smooth this bit out a bit although this is a fantasy course it's not going to be like a realistic sort of thing but i want to be able to give give the impression that you can actually get to these fairways I'm definitely going to change. I'm not too happy with that. So what I'm going to do is remove this. Oops, remove this spline, like so. I will put a fairway spline again, just here. Staggering this, I put different um, on different layers. So close the path. Oh, yeah, I did say we would uh, try this without closing the path. I think you'll get the same results. So. Okay. We sort of make some kind of plat plateaus. This is quite a good one to do if you want a sort of bigger area to flatten. Like so. So it could be like a... Right. 
do is smooth this out a bit. Sort of smooth-ish, but it's still. Get rid of that. Put another bit of fairway there. is not closed. Can we fill it? Yeah. There you go. So you don't have to close the path on every single one. Okay. That's going to be interesting. Let's smooth this out a bit. not too much of a steep incline, so to speak. Whatever you do, when you do stuff like this, just don't be afraid to experiment. Um, I mean, this is not going to be everybody's cup of tea. People probably won't even like it, so but it's something I want to try and see what it's, it's like, so to speak. So, this is my course anyway. Okay, that sort of will work for me. this going to happen I am going to put some retaining walls in again so we just do place object let's go retaining walls Ooh. this. Is that taking it? No, that's 
not what I wanted to achieve. And these don't go up in infinity and beyond the uh, that's about the right height I want. in a bit and again that's quite good that's handy at the end it's done that because it's it's virtually closed itself off so it's an excellent thing to do and remember guys if you don't have to have you can do what I do here is actually form make this into some kind of structure like so I'm just about getting used to this um, mouse the sensitivity of the mouse because remember as, as I mentioned before I found this uh, brand new razor mouse Razer, I think it's uh, Basilisk Essential. Basilisk. Basilisk Essential. So it's not the top of the range one. But it's functional, it serves my purposes. Right, you can do this with the retaining wall. Forget that this actually um, will take up your resources as well for your objects, so just bear that in mind. So, there you go, there's a wall there, patch up the edges. So, what you can do if you wanted to hide that piece there is either put rocks or stones down. can do here is put some bushes I think because this is the harvest theme I've got bushes here let's put this bush down don't forget you can increase the height or the scale it scale it up sink it in Basically, all we're doing is hiding the uh, hiding the joints. <laughs> so always remember, if you're going to be using some kind of, um, it could be a tree, it could be a bush, as I'm doing here. Remember to, to turn them around slightly so that they're not all sort of facing the same way. Just just for some variety and also to get rid of that um, cloned effect that you can get sometimes with this if you're not careful. forget that bushes and trees and any plants really you can actually sink it further into the ground need to and also what I like to do uh, when it's bushes like this just to add some variety to it so add one of them twist it around a little bit they're not all the same If you wanted to plant some um, flowers and stuff like that, then go ahead and do so. Entirely up to you. It's it's how creative you are, or 
nothing, there's nothing really here to say you can't do that sort of stuff. So what I suggest you do is just go for it. And stop the new there. So that's sort of okay for now. I'm happy with that. So that waterfall feature, we'll probably I'll do that. I'll tidy that up another time. Tell you what I'm going to do now. What am I doing for time? 30 minutes already. This, this is getting on my uh, bit of OCD has kicked in for me, unfortunately. Let me flatten this out. Editor or level design, it does this from time to time, which is a bit weird. Why I should do that? Right, let's, let's widen this a little bit. Just so we're slightly on the same Okay guys, if you're going to be putting stuff down like this, especially, uh, I mean, to me that's not really a feature as such, I would rather hide that and the way to do it is because these are actual brushes that have been put down, go create surface, go rough, go for a brush, something, a circle about the same, I tend to reduce it or not reduce it, make, just have it said it's covering just press once and it just blends it in for you, tidies it up but it's so distracting to have such um, harsh borders like that unless of course it's, I don't know, if it's something you want to do or you, you want it as a feature entirely up to you, but like I said, it's your imagination this off and I'll do a play test on this before I go because I'm conscious of the time at the moment how long I've actually spent here doing this I apologize for the dogs being naughty boys This is a total fantasy course, it's not anything realistic that I would say in a normal, uh, real environment that we live in these days. So let's do that, so let's, that's a par 3 actually, and that is a ritual. So what we need to do, because it's, it is a par 3, service I'll make a brush for the actual thing. Make this a bit bigger. That'll do. Oh, what did I do? <laughs> God. 
green not not bunker right now we'll go fairway use a spline same thing again now what I want to do is extend it this way because if the person is coming from quite a great height I want to give them fair opportunity or a fair go at landing here, so if you spline. Toggle second surface, let's do the rough. Now you can choose the rough or you can choose heavy rough, it's only up to you. It doesn't really make any difference. If you're ever wondering what, uh, what that little rough thing is supposed to be or how wide it should be, I tend to just leave it as it is. I'm not really that worried by it. So that is, that's a fairly smooth one, so that's fine. Right, let's give this a play test from number one. Let's play the course. Okay, after I've done this, so as before, I haven't done much with this one. From last time, we can actually get to the wind behind us and everything. We can actually get onto the fairway from here. That's because it's 10 feet below us as well. That should give us plenty. That's a bit of a draw. Right, good. That's good to go. I'm happy with that. Again, I may just put, um, I may sp split this fairway. Well, not split it, but put something in the way. Some kind of obstacle. Possibly put uh, either a bunker. And again, this is still relatively flat, so it's not uh, as far from finished. Again, this number two. So before, just aim between these trees left of that tree and we should be good if you can reach that in one too much I need to put a backstop onto this as well again relatively flat so we'll fix that Okay guys, um, just about winding this up, so, there you go, there's the waterfall that we put in, hopefully, I don't think the 5 iron will hit that, but hybrid will, no, a hybrid will not, ooh, nope, to make that out of bounds as well. Bump. That's okay. What did we do last time? Five iron. Did a five iron reach it? Nope, five iron won't reach that. Oh, look at that. I landed on the fairway. In a roundabout way. That's not going to make it. Watch. Boof! <laughs> and into the water we go. No, we need to actually use a nine for this.
Again, these are really flat green, so um, still need a little work on them. We'll get there. And then we'll see what number four looks like. I just want to test this before I, I take a break for this one. It's blind, you can't see it. 175 drop. down three clubs to get there, to get here. Oh, close, but no cigar. Okay, guys, that is it for now. I will see you on the next one. You take care, stay safe, and see you on the ground.